hello and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are on my channel for the first time, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, you will be the first to be notified. And welcome back, Boss Buddies. I hope you guys are having a great day. Y'all have seen me multiple times today. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure y'all are tired of me by now. I know my boss buddies ain't tired of me. Y'all better not tell me y'all tired of me. No, I'm just messing. But anyway, guys, I told y'all each time that I, um, not each time, but multiple times a day while I'm designing, I'm designing anyway. So I might as well make a video and show you guys what I'm doing. And this video is to show you or let you know that you do not have to be afraid of color, okay? Do not be afraid of color. I've already made a video about this some months back. But for my new subbies, I want to let you know that you do not have to be afraid to add colors to your baskets. They do not have to be all pink. They do not have to be all red. I want to show you guys where you can use contrasting colors and still pull off an amazing Valentine's Day arrangement, okay? So today, um, I am going to be using yellow pink red black white i know it sounds like a whole lot of colors but y'all guys just wait until we're done and you're gonna see how beautiful it will be when we're done okay and we know we always cover up price tags if you're not able to peel the sticker off if it's implanted in the um actual paper itself make sure you cover your sticker up okay so guys y'all know that i just came back from walmart on a haul and these are the beautiful slippers and i told y'all when i get home i was gonna wish that i had gotten some more and that's what my daughter said mom you didn't get us in and we've been waiting for those to go on clearance they were originally ten dollars they are really really sturdy house slippers okay very very cute i am going to show you guys and gals, this basket that I'm going to put together with 90% um, of the stuff I got today in a haul. So make sure you go back and look at the haul, okay? I have not taped anything up. I'm just, just set it there for purposes of the video so I would know what else I needed to get or what else I wanted to do, okay? So we're going to actually build it from ground zero, for those of you that are new or not new and still need experience and practice, we're going to start over fresh the way that Birthing Bosses with Felicia build baskets, okay? Okay, so normally when I'm building baskets, my mother does the actual wrapping of the boxes. Several, several videos on wrapping boxes. If you do not have the money or you just want to save money, because it's not always that you don't have money. You just want to shop smart and you want to work smart. So if you use these boxes, um, my mom wrapped them up for me. And then the edges that she cut off, we always recycle those so that we can put them in the bottom of the box. Once I put already given it a sturdy foundation and the cardboard, cardboard serves as multiple purposes. One thing is a recyclable item. And the second thing is it gives you a sturdy foundation to sit your items on. So you're just not sitting it on paper, okay, or on shred. Once you put your cardboard in your box, then you go back with newspaper, filler paper, whatever you want to use. Y'all know me. I'm very, very savvy. So I'm going to do what costs me no money or little money, okay? This newspaper did not cost me a dime. I get it from a young lady that delivers newspapers, and she don't do anything but throw, throw away her excess paper, so she give them to me. At the end of the day, all you're going to do is throw this paper in the trash can. Whoever receives it, they're going to throw it in the trash. So if you can save money, save money, okay? It's not doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have money to buy it, okay? It just means that you're shopping smart and you're running a business, so you're going to do things the smart and economical way. So we're just going to go back on top with some tissue paper. What is this stuff called, y'all? It ain't tissue paper. <laughs> 
gift wrap tissue, whatever. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Okay, this is a piece of material. Just a simple piece of material. I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, so I'm back. So this is just some material that was on a roll. It was on a roll actually like this mesh. I bought it after Christmas. It was part of the clearance, um, Christmas clearance. I think I paid mm, maybe 50 cent for it or something like that. It was a really, really large roll. And I just use it as um, added material for the front of my basket where some people would put shreds. Sometimes I use material. I just like the contrast and look and the contrast and color that it gives, okay? So then what we're going to do is go stick our shoes. Y'all have to excuse the noise in the background. My mom is here and she's back there with my grandson. So hope y'all can weave through the noise. This is a house that's lived in, okay? <laughs> we're not at a studio. So my family keeps Noah's from time to time. Here is a book that I got from the Dollar 25 Tree. Yeah, we didn't just renamed it, okay? Somebody had commented in my video and said it's the Dollar Plus, but not all of them are Dollar Plus. Um, dollar Plus is the ones that carry the extra items the three dollar items and the five dollar items and that reminds me i want to show y'all something i got from a dollar tree plus the other day it is so cute but anyway i got this book from there for one i don't even really well i did read it i did read it today the back of the book what it was actually about i got it for one because it was a book geared towards women and i love the colors and it was definitely a valentine's color so i got that book so we're just gonna come on in and fill it on up a little bit more. Um, what did I do with my, oh. This is a Believe plaque that I got from Hobby Lobby during the Christmas sale. I think I'm gonna use this. I may take this out, we'll see. I just like the contrast that the black and white brings. We're going to play around with it. We may take some things out. We may put some things in. That's the whole point and key of designing, y'all. Sometimes we don't know until we finish. And then we'll tear it all up and start all over again. <laughs> Does anybody else do that besides me? If you're a crafter, I know you do it. See, we might set that in there. Gonna set our dove right there. We're gonna set our dove right there. Maybe. We'll see. Y'all, this is a cute little flower. Um, these are actually two flowers that I glued into one. And I've glued the yellow in here so that when I use this ribbon, it'll all tie in together. I know you think the colors may gonna look crazy, but I'm gonna show you that it's not. We're gonna put a little dab of hot glue on the back of this flower since I can't put tape on it. Well, you can, but it's not gonna hold. I just need to put a little dab up here on this air freshener, where this essential oil, that's what it is, an essential oil pack. Okay, and now I'm going to take the Dove bar to the cup. And y'all, this is a cup that I paid a penny for um in a dollar general haul make sure you go back and watch that video if you have not watched it okay okay y'all we are going to get ready to wrap this up 
and the actual Dove cream is not positioned or glued to anything, but when we put the shrink wrap up there, it's gonna seal it right into place. So here comes the noisy shrink wrap bags, y'all. Again, the bags are 22 by 30. You don't have to get this size because this size is too big. For some people, you have to get whatever size works for you. I get a large size because some of my baskets are large. Some of them are medium. This would be a great color combination for Mother's Day as well. Y'all, I hope I be then got my Cricut machine by Mother's Day. And the only thing that's going to stop me from getting it is the spirit of procrastination. So y'all pray for me, okay? Because I've been talking about it too long. And I just really need to order it. Find out who has the most economical one and go ahead and order it. Because I want to be able to do my labels and do my own cups and stuff by Mother's Day. I don't want to have to keep buying stuff with words already on it. I have different sayings I want to put on stuff. So I think that would be really nice and unique. Okay. We're going to then get our pipe cleaner that we always use. I hope y'all at the right angle because I haven't been looking back that much to see. <clears throat> Always make sure you leave your items so that people can read and see everything that's in here, okay? You want to make sure everything is positioned so that they can read it. Now, mind you, they still going to say, what's in that basket? <laughs> but it'll help you be able to tell them better when you can look at it yourself and see what's in it, okay? Or they're going to say, well, what is that book about? And you're going to be forgot what that book is about. Or like me, didn't know what it was about until today. Then you'll be able to look right at your book and tell them what it's about. It won't be buried down in the bottom of the basket and all that stuff. So make sure you're not burying your items. Maybe I'll do a video on that, not to bury your items in your gift baskets. I see that a lot. That's why it's best to buy larger items. Not everything is going to be large. To be honest with you, I don't even like using these Dove soaps and this Dove cream in baskets this size. If I'm going to use items like this, I usually use them in a mug or something like that. But tonight, I decided to try something a little different. To me, small stuff like that gets lost in a basket, even with you taking it down. And when I say get lost, not necessarily mean you can't see it. It just gets lost in the look to me. And if I spent $10 on a basket, I want you to be able to see. Well, I want you to be able to see more than $10. But what I'm saying is, if I spent $10 on items in a basket, I want to be able to look in there and see them. I don't want to have to search and swim through the basket and try to find the things that I bought. So this basket right here in total, I spent like $7 on it. And I'm going to be able to sell this basket for about $50. Anywhere from $45 to $50. Just no matter what side of the bed I wake up on. And I decide to charge. But I um paid $7 for everything in here. Um, $3 for the slippers. Y'all saw that on the Walmart haul that I got. Um, $3, $4, $5.25, $5.26, $0.25, cent. that's $5.50, $6.50, $7.50, um, and $25. So about $7.75. We'll just round it off the $8 with the bag and the bow, okay? Start at the bottom. Started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> we're starting from the bottom, y'all. Start from the bottom. 
and work your way up to the top. I already see that I need to let some of this air out this day. Different people have different ways that they let air out. I just simply leave the um leave an opening. I mean, you know, I don't make it that tight up here. That way I can squeeze the air out through the top. And keep working your way, working your way up to the top. Make sure you hold this out of the way so that it don't tumble down. Cut the ribbon according to whatever size you want the bow. If you want a small bow, then you don't have to use as much ribbon. We're going to go ahead and cut the duck tails before we start the bow. And I got 25 pair of new scissors that I bought on the Christmas clearance and I still keep using these dull scissors every day. Leave your tail off as long as you want the hang. Make your loop and pinch it and turn. The reason that you're turning is because the, <clears throat> the ribbon is not double-sided. If it was double-sided, <clears throat> if it was double-sided, you wouldn't have to twist it. But even if it is double-sided, I still twist it because it helps hold the bow in place even better. So once you pinch it, just twist and turn. And then go in with your pipe cleaner that you already have. And tie it off. Once you tie it off, you then cut off the excess that you have and keep these little pieces. You can use them for something else. This one is a little bit longer. Sometimes I keep it a little bit longer, but that one is just too much longer. Cut off however much you want off of the top. And there you have it, the completed look. And the contrasting of colors, it all blends in. So don't be afraid to use different colors. You do not have to just use pink and red, okay? If you like this video, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, and give the video a thumbs up. Until the next video, bye-bye.